Well, welcome back to Billings and it's Land Rover Live. We're now meeting Rodney, well Rod and Alan. <laughs> Doesn't, uh, Rodney has connotations. <laughs> and uh, you're with the Ford Control. Yeah, we're Ford Control Enthusiast Club. Ford Control Enthusiast Club. And I would imagine not many people thought there were enthusiasts for Ford Control. You have to be enthusiastic to have yeah. one, that's for sure. Yeah. They're mostly ex-artillery people, aren't they? No, no. <laughs> that's, the, that's the 101. Ah. Um, the Ford Controls that we got were only ever built for the civilian market for 10 years, between 1961 and 1971. Oh, right. I wasn't aware there were any built for the civilian market. Yeah, so they, they did not build them. They trialled them for the military, but the military never took them on. Because it's quite a scary thing to drive the Ford Control, isn't it? So you have to like think in a completely different way. Yeah, very different way. Well, is that part of the appeal? or? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Being up in the air, seeing what's going on, and that's what I like. It's yeah. an ideal thing, because you can go over hedges and find crap in gardens. <laughs> And I suppose the, the bigger size means you can use them for, what, do people turn them into sort of dormobiles and... Mine's a complete camper and I've got an ex, mine's a, a crew cab and on the back of it I've got a body off a Transit BT van which can be converted to a camper. There's a double bed in it, fridge, freezer, the lot. So it's all roving stuff. Yeah. And I've got a short one with a high crown on the back of it which is quite useful as well. Yeah. And is, is that what most people are using them for or...? No, some of them are still working. My old one still works. Um, I sold it to, five years ago to another guy and he's put a big high ab in the back of it and he uses it within his business. Oh, right. So uh, for the, the group itself, for the club itself, how many members do you have? We fluctuate between 20 and 30. Uh, we're only a small club, very family orientated. Very social, no one's ever far away for help either, which yeah, is quite good. I had a bad accident about five years ago and these lot I used to live in Bournemouth and they turned up on my doorstep on a Saturday morning from Coventry, Rugby and Banbury to put mine together so we could get it for the MOT and they'd done that for five weekends running to get mine ready to get to the show. Brilliant. But it didn't get to the show because I still couldn't drive it because I was too ill. <laughs> so um, apart from showing them, because they use fantastic amounts of fuel don't they? Aren't they quite bad on fuel? Or is that a myth? I've got a TDI in mine, so I'm okay. Mine's a modern engine, TDI 200, so, so it's pretty good. So you'd expect to get? 25-ish. That's better than my 110-ish. If you drive careful, but I never drive careful, that's boring. You've got to keep it, keep on going. And right. mine's got a silly engine in it. V V8? No. No? Worse. Oh. <laughs> got a straight six tyre Land Cruiser in it, four litre. Oh my God. <clears throat> Does sound good, though. Yeah, it sounds very good because it's got a drive through exhaust on it, so it's pretty mean. So you've got this really aggressive sounding camper van with a double bed in it. It's just more like scary than inviting. Yeah. <laughs> Did we see in the driver, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It depends how many beers you had the night before, you see, so it's all right. No, like a friend of mine uses mine a lot for his work. He's a mechanic, so he's got my green one for picking up vehicles and quad bikes and all sorts with the crane, you see, so he makes good use of it. So it does earn its living. So, so it does earn its living? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. So for the, for the audience, what is the most compelling reason to own a full control? They're just unique. They're, they're a forgotten Land Rover. They are definitely a forgotten Land Rover, aren't they? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And um, don't forget, if you've got any questions about forward control Land Rovers, you can get in touch with us on our website. And of course, you're bound to have a website, aren't you? There's one being built at the moment. They've got us. one in progress. Same as the Land Rover. Same it's as it's built, is it? Yeah, it's not quite finished yet. <laughs> well, it will be soon. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.